75 years old, Abraham was told by God to go to a new land, Canaan. Abraham, Abraham listened and obeyed God. Today we remember St. Bruno and Blessed Maria Rose Dorca, both of whom founded religious orders at the age of 16. Blessed Maria Rose Dorca felt called by God to become religious. She listened to God and later founded the Sisters of the Holy Names of Jesus and Mary. The orders is devoted to religious education for children. In Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. I will praise your name forever, Lord. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. I will, I will praise, praise your name forever, Lord. A reading from the book of Genesis. Now the Lord said to Abraham, Go from your father's country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and the one who curses you, I will curse. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abraham went as the Lord had told him. Abraham was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. Abraham took his wife, Sarah, and his brother's son, Lot, and all the possessions that they had gathered, and the persons whom they had acquired in Haran. They set forth to go to the land of Canaan, the word of the Lord. Think about this silently in your heart. Abraham had great faith in God. How can we also put our trust in God so completely? Let us bring our hopes and needs to God as we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world leaders, that they may, lead by, that they may be led by the Holy Spirit as they serve the global community. We pray. For our students and families, that they may experience the blessings, love, and graces poured into them by God the Father. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all students might feel comfortable at the school, as well as among their fellow students. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold in the quiet of our hearts. We pray. Lord, Let us pray to our Father. Our, our Father, who art, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Dear God, may we be as faithful as faithful to you as Abraham, trust in your word and love, and go wherever you send us. May we be open to call you to your servant, as your servant, Blessed Mary Rose Georgia, the Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join us at the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's fun fact is about Nicaragua. The name Nicaragua comes from a combination of two words, Nicaragua y Agua. The Nicaragua were in the Indian tribe who occupied the shores of Lake Nicaragua when the Spaniards arrived in the 1500s. Agua is the Spanish word for water. El nombre de Nicaragua viene de la combinación de dos palabras, Nicaro 
que, ven, que viene de la tribu indígena de viva allí en los años de 1500 y agua que significa agua. We have some birthdays to celebrate for today. In eighth grade, Will Michael. And in fifth grade, Tyler Sharp. What do we say to our birthday people today? Happy birthday! Terrific Tuesday. All right, good job, good job.